Hey there, friends. Welcome back to some more Shadow Red Returns. You're with Splitty McFarkles and the gang, and last time, Jessica tried to have us killed. She got really, really angry, and her little brotherhood friend Lynn decided, like, sick her bodyguards on us, and then Ghoul showed up, and things happened, and it was really crazy. So we, t we got a team together, and we're gonna go and invade the brotherhood and try and see what's going on. But when we got here, there's things with people and stuff happening, so let's go forward. Let's see what's going on. Oh, there's a bunch of people talking. We got a dealer, a slick security guard, and a fan. Let's talk to the fan. Tell us what's going on, fan. <laughs> the fan is apparently excited to be in the same city as the rock store. Hey, how you doing? You here for the Mariah Mercurial concert? Uh, I'm going to the Universal Brotherhood. Wavy, one of my roommates is a sister. She seems happy. She's hoping to get into the Inner Circle soon. The Inner Circle? Yeah, I don't know what it is, but she's excited about it. I think there's a graduation ceremony. I'm going to try and find a better spot to hear. Uh, well, okay, moved you out of the way. Well, something tells me I'm going to have to like move these people out of the way. Can I talk to you now? No. Oh, okay. Mm, is there anything? Oh, that's the next person. Right, that's where I'm supposed to be going, I guess. Uh, okay, Mr. Dealer. What are you dealing in, Dealer? It wouldn't be a rock concert without a drug dealer. Although no police are nearby, he plays the part as if his performance was the part of the, the experience. Psst. Yo, you like nerds? <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh, buddy. Psst, yo, you like nerps? Maybe something stronger? Uh, nerps? <laughs> You've been living under a rock? Nerps is the wonder drug. It'll cure whatever ails you. Good old... <laughs> You've got nerps? <laughs> no, I'm out of nerps, but I got something else you might like. Uh, let's see. When does the When does the show start? It's going to be ours. They're just starting setting up, and a crowd is already forming. This is her town, so it's no surprise. Uh, I didn't know there was a concert today. Who's playing? Mariah Mercurial, the silver lady. She's the waviest. So smooth. I love her chrome cyber limbs. She's kind of fallen off the radar lately, though. Looks like she's making a comeback. Uh, take care. I'm going to go. Yeah, you, uh, I don't care about your drugs. Okay, security guard. May I help you? Um, know anything about the Universal Brotherhood? Just what I see on the Trivid. Uh, do you work for the Rockstar? Yes, sir. I work for Mariah Mercurial. Something I can do for you? I'd like to meet Mariah Mercurial. Lots of people want to meet Mariah Mercurial. Uh, I'm an old friend of hers. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Miss Mercurial has lots of friends in Seattle. She lives here. Can I get into the concert? That's not up to me. The concert was only announced an hour ago, but the tickets are already sold out. Sorry, nothing I can do. Well, I'm not going to pay you. I don't see why I would have to pay you. I, uh... I honestly don't know. What... Uh, okay, well, that's... That was something. <laughs> that was something that happened. Let's see if there's anything over here. Nobody talked to? Nope, okay. Hello, sir. Sir Patrick. I am not a funny bunny-faced pink-haired man. Welcome, brother. You are ready. Are you ready to build a better tomorrow? Uh. <laughs> Have you looked at the world lately? I don't see a better tomorrow coming. I sure am. That's great news. Come in and find the power of belonging. Uh. Sounds good. Then <laughs> go right in, brother. Someone from the counseling center would love to talk with you. I'm sure they would. I'm just going to go in here now. <laughs> you hear the sounds of soft music playing within and many soft slippers gliding across the small floor. May as well go in. This is what we came here for. Oh, oh brother, I forgot to mention that everyone must enter the Universal Brotherhood alone. Uh, what? <laughs> I don't want to be alone. 
In order to become part of the larger family, we must first know ourselves. You need to hear our message in solitude so that your mind can be clear from distraction and the shackles of this heartbreakingly oppressive world. Uh, okay. Coyote's whispers in your ear. We'll wait outside for you, Splitty McFarkles. I'll take the team and circle around the building looking for another way in. I'll chirp you on your comm link if we find one. Uh... So apparently I have to go in here by myself to find enlightenment in, you know, things. All the good things of enlightenment and stuff. In contrast to the noise and energy of the crowd outside, the lobby of the Universal Brotherhood is sedate, tranquil, acquiescent. The low music piped through the room is something from a day spa mixed with planetarium sky show allowing listeners to achieve maximum relaxation while reaching for the stars. Brothers and sisters from every race and every branch of meta-humanity mill about with bliss, smiles, and shining eyes, greeting each other with head nods, palm touches, and a murmured blessings. The woman at the front desk offers you a welcoming smile as you enter, her hand automatically moving to her stack of religious literature. So, we're gonna go join a cult. Yay! At least, I think that's what it is. It kinda seems like what it is. The sweeping walls, the muted colors, and the soothing music of the Universal Brotherhood's entrance hall are all designed to relax you. I am so relaxed right now. La la lee la la. Da 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 da. I am now going to unleash my inner abilities. Become one with nature. Be at one with the world. Okay. Sister Sally. Hi, welcome to the Universal Brotherhood. I'll be with you in just a second. She turns to the other woman at the desk. Sister Monica, you have to be more careful with your ID. She reaches down to a box on the floor. Here's a blank key card. Take it, take it in your ruined card to Brother Christopher, and he will let you into the office to program a new one. Thank you, Sister Sally. Sister Sally smiles. Of course, truth makes us one. Nanu nanu. The young lady turns back to you and smiles. I'm sorry about that. How can I help you today? Is Jessica Watts here? I'm sorry, I don't know. I only see Grandmother Jessica... Okay, person. God, I have to listen to you walk away. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know. I, can I only see Grandmother Jessica at special ceremonies, and even then, only at a distance. You might ask Mother Lynn, Lynn Telestri, and if you can catch her in the auditorium... Hmm, why is Jessica Watts called Grandmother Jessica? At the Universal Brotherhood, we learned that the world is all one family. When you choose the path of belonging, you become one of our brothers or sisters. We are led by our fathers and mothers, who are in turn led by Grandmother Jessica and the Seattle's family matriarch. Hmm. What is the Universal Brotherhood? That's the good question. We need to know what this place is. The Universal Brotherhood is a community that welcomes all forms of meta-humanity with the mission of making the world a better place by helping individuals to become so much more than they currently are. This is our Seattle chapter. There are more popping up every day. Mm-hmm. Is Lynn Telestrarian here? I believe so. I think she arrived at the end of Father Willie's talk. Oh, Father Willie. Ah, <laughs> oh, the names. So you might still find her in the auditorium. Can I have a blank key card? She looks at you perplexed. I don't know why you would need one. They are they are only used to replace the cards of brothers and sisters who have damaged theirs. Did you know that there's a Mariah Mercurial concert going on outside? Her eyes light up. I know. Isn't it exciting? I'm such a big fan of hers. The first time I heard Who Weeps for the Children, I melted inside. Don't tell anyone, but she's signing autographs outside right now. She chews her lip, torn, then makes a decision. I know the elders will frown on this, but I just got to go get her autograph. I mean, it's Mariah Mercurial. Bye. I'm now going to jack one of your cards. Next to the desk is a cardboard box filled with blank Universal ID or blank blank Universal Brotherhood ID cards. If you could get one and, and damage it, maybe you could get, use it to get to the office and reprogram program a new card. Uh, okay. Take the bike key card. I'll just, I'll just walk around. You know. Hey, everybody. What's going on? I'm just chilling. Sister Wilma. Wilma. Hello, brother. What can I do? What can I help you with? I said something. I just clicked it. I don't know what I said. That's why we're here. What are your questions? 
Is there a computer terminal I can use? No, we believe it is important to remove mundane distractions from our daily lives so we can focus on the truth. Our only computers are in the office, and that's off limits to prospective members. Hmm. Is there a, where is the counseling center? Just on the other side of the entrance lobby. Do you like it here? I love being part of the Universal Brotherhood. Belonging helps Belonging helps everyone. We have a free soup kitchen that feeds hundreds of people every day, educational talks in our auditorium, a counseling center to help prospective members and with deep one on one therapy. Thanks, I'm gonna look look around. Truth makes us one. Yeah, you know, ukabaka to you too. Uh, so this must be the soup kitchen. And there's a Yan Itor. As you approach the Yan Itor, he looks up, seemingly surprised that anyone noticed he was here. What do you want? Um, you look, mm, you looking to make a little easy money today? What do you got in mind? Cause you're not my type. <laughs> yeah. I bet you see lots of things around here, and I want to hear about some of them. You mentioned money? Mm. Don't know yet. Let's talk and I'll pay you what it's worth. Oh yeah? My, like my grandpa used to say, the check is in the mail. Don't think so. Whatever. Whatever happened to trust? Put some money up front or no deal. Mm. I'm not exactly flush, so how about 50 now and 100 if I can use what you've said? Wow, you must be worse off than me. Okay, here's my cred stick. He hands you his cred stick and you transfer 100 new into it. Why does it say 100 when I gave him 50? I have no idea. What do you want to know? I need a computer terminal. Do you know where one is? The only computers I've seen in the place are in the office section of the home, behind the staff-only doors. Uh, tell me what areas of this place you have access to. I only have access to the public space, which we are in now. The storage room, the locker room, and the office. What do you know of the areas you don't have access to? The brothers and sisters live in what's called the home, which I've heard is as the kitchen and dorm rooms. From where I've been told, there's a ton of security protecting the what the freaks call the inner sanctum, but I've never seen any of that stuff. Hmm. Have you seen Jessica Watts around today? Nope, but that don't mean much. Most of the place is off limits to me. I want to get into the office. What will your key card cost me? There's no way I'm giving you my key card. My card for you to cause trouble with. That sort of thing would come back to haunt me. No, I'm not paying no 500 for it. Where can I get a different key card? Sometimes the staff leave key cards and uniforms in the locker room. Tell you what, for 300 New Yen, I can let you into the storeroom, which connects the locker room, and you could look around. Too, too rich for a fishing expedition. How about 150? Oh, okay, but make it a quick, make it quick before someone looks over here. So I spent 200 to get inside, basically. After you put 150 into his cred stick, he opens the door for the storeroom. I'm done asking questions. All right. Uh, we got a box. This liquefied cane sugar, one gallon cans, 24 cans. Oh, so it's like liquid sugar. Okay. Liquid sugar, whatever. A box full of industrial toilet cleaner. Nothing like a janitor's office. Office. Storeroom. <laughs> office. I'm such a... <laughs> I'm such a dork. The, the, lar the large tub is labeled cooking lard. The lid is extremely greasy. Take the lard. <laughs> tub of lard. I got a tub of lard. The lard doesn't fit in the pocket, so you're going to have to carry it around. Well, but it doesn't look like I'm carrying it around, so... Um, the shipping pallet has six boxes with chloroform bottles in them. Chloroform can be used to knock someone out if you get them alone. Yep, take that chloroform bottle. So, so we've got chloroform, we've got lard... We've got um, lockers. The locker is a William uniform that would fit a dwarf, and the uniform's pocket is a key card. Uh, take the uniform, and 
You put on you put the janitor's overalls on over your clothes. Take the key card. The key card has the big Universal Brotherhood logo and the name Edward Sharple Janitor. I am now Splitty McFarkles, Edward Sharple Janitor. Look, I'm gonna go clean now. Watch me clean like a boss. Um, there we go. Let's see, there's a Father Willie Hansen. Let's go talk to Willie! Whoa. Whoa! -ho -ho. Bro, you have issues going on there. Just saying. Father Willie's greasy hair and disturbing tattoos are quite the contrast to the flawless features and exquisite clothes of Lynn Telestarian. He doesn't look the part of a spokesman. You see the uh, adulation in the eyes of the, those who linger around him just to bask in his presence a moment more. Apparently, he is a charismatic speaker. Welcome, my friend from the shadows. I rejoice to be with you. Uh, the shadows? I, I'm sure I don't know what you're talking about. Please, I lived in the shadows for many years until I came to the light of the Fellowship of the Universal Brotherhood. I see on you the chains of guilt and sorrow, built link upon link by the crimes you commit in the name of Nguyen. Mm. Nguyen may wound my soul, but it fills my stomach. We each carry chains of our own creation. Yes, that is what I told myself for years until the weight of my chains brought me to the pit of despair. But the Universal Brotherhood saved me. It can save you too, my friend. Hmm. I hope so, Father. A, ho a hopeful soul is filled with strength. What can I do to add to this strength? Father, I just discovered a pressing maintenance issue. Yes, what is it? It's something that needs the attention of a senior leader. I would rather not discuss it out here. Ah, very well. I'm one of the elders here. I can help with that. What is the problem? It's in the storage room. I'll meet you there. Oh, 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 oh boy. Are we going to knock this dude out with the chloroform? What's the issue? I don't see anything. Hmm, it was here a moment ago. What was here a moment ago? Hmm, I guess, I guess we... Well, I'm just... I'm gonna knock him out. Father Willie has been knocked unconscious by the chloroform. Uh, take his ID card. And... Take his uniform? Sure. Oh, the uniform doesn't fit me. Oh, that's... Not good. Was there a... Was there a dwarf guy around that I could've... Said, hey, come over here. I totally want to knock you out. Now, now I'm curious. Um, so far, no. <laughs> so we have Sister Nancy and Brother Christopher. Brother Christopher is who we're supposed to go to if we have a messed up card, but. We have the father's card, so I wonder if we can just use the door, but let's see what Sister Nancy has to say real quick. Welcome to the Universal Brotherhood's Counseling Center. What is your name? Sp I'm Splitty McFarkles, and you? I'm Sister Nancy. Tell me something about yourself so I can pair you with the right counselor. Hmm. Give me someone who understands the life of a runner. I would really like to talk to Jessica Watts. Can you direct me to her? I'm sorry, but Grandmother Jessica is in the inner sanctum and cannot be disturbed. Inner sanctum? Give me a better sense of the different areas of the Brotherhood. Sure, you are currently in the public area. Behind it is what we call the home, which is where new brothers and sisters live. Beyond that is the inner sanctum, which only mothers and fathers can go. A and, of course, Grandmother Jessica can go. Yeah, why do you call her grandmother, Jessica? Everyone who's brother is a family member, blah, 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 blah. Is Lynn to Lestari at a vessel? Left the building about 15 minutes ago. Done asking questions. It's members only. I rejoice to be with you. May I help you? Is this the office store? Yes, it is, brother. I would not expect a new face to have such a high security clearance already. Your key card will allow you access. Oh, you don't even have... Okay. 
Cool. Don't even ask where I got it from. I'm just a janitor that has keycard access everywhere. Your comm link, Church and Coyote, appears on the screen. How's it going? Good. I found a way into the off-limits area of the Brotherhood, just because somewhere in here. You need to find it. You find another way into this place? Yep. We're down an alley and found a side door near the back. I'll send the coordinates so you can find it. Hang tight, I'll come get you when I'm ready. I want to have a look around first. Definitely, take your time to re to reconnoiter. We're, we're chill here. Well, I'm glad you're chill, because I'm going to search boxes and stuff. The cardboard box is labeled UB Blank Cree Cards. I already have a blank one, don't I? Yeah, I already have a blank one. But I shouldn't necessarily need a not blank one, because I have the father's key card, right? I would think. But I'm gonna go snoop around in people's... You know, locker... Whoa! Did something happen here? Let's... No, come here. Open this door. Split... Split even McParkles. Open... Thank you. What is over here? Streamers and greeting cards decorate the lower bunk. Oh, that, those are streamers? It looks like do not cross this area. This person is dead. Look at the cards. There are two greeting cards taped to one to the bunk. One is a giant homemade card. The other is the professionally printed and features the logo of the Universal Brotherhood. Open the homemade card missing you already. Julie, we are so proud of you for advancing to the inner sanctum. Remember us slowly, brothers and sisters, and come visit us often. Love, Monica, and your fellow dorm mates. Open the professionally printed card. Congratulations! Dear Sister Julie, it is my special pleasure to invite you to join us in the inner sanctum as a mother of the Universal Brotherhood. I have left your upgraded key card in your locker. We rejoice with to be with you, Father Willie. Oh, well, I already have Father Willie's card, so... Done looking in the bunk. So I really don't need a card, but... Uh... Force the locker open. The locker makes a noise as you bust it open and find an inner sanctum key card. Oh, well, that's cool. Uh, what's in this one? Splitty McFarkle's circles, circles, searches through other people's belongings. Contains a brother's uniform that will fit you. Take the uniform. Okay. Now I'm dressed up as... This guy. I look so posh. Look at, look at Splitty McFarkle's. Look at him. He's so brotherhood -y. So, so majestic in his pinkness. Alright. Let's see. This music is so crazy. I think this computer just reads enter blank key card to activate machine. Well, I don't necessarily need a new key card. I have a key card to... Oh, the hello, big guns. Yeah, something tells me that's going to be a thing here coming up. The big guns that will want to shoot me. The locker contains a sister's uniform that would not fit you. Well, I do want the slimmer look. <laughs> Just going through people's personal belongings. Box routing slips. Transfer for sale in thrift shops. Read the routing slip. Reason for transfer. Shane could not accept the truth and could no longer be needing and will no longer be needing these things. He has been moved downstairs. Open the box. The boxes contain clothes and personal items, including a photo of Cherry Bomb. Digging deeper, you confirm that they are the belongings of Brother Shane. Oh, Shane was the guy from the beginning who was her ex boyfriend. Something tells me he's probably not going to be alive. Hello, Cook. What are you doing? Yes, brother. What can I do for you? Mm-hmm. Sister Sally at the front desk was asking for you. What does she want now? I think I needed to get that person out of the room. The cold storage box is labeled Live Specimen Keep Refrigerated. That sounds grody. Uh, 
An industrial sized fruit processor that can make food for an army of babies. Uh, the fridge contains mostly things that are either brown or green, with your primary difference seeming to be the age. Ew. The broken vending machine seems to seems to like it. It seems like it could be moved. Uh, spread the lard on the ground and then push the vending machine out of the way. With some slight creaking, and the vending machine slides away to reveal a secret door. What's behind this secret door? Number one. You must let your team in from the alley before attempting to open the secret door. Oh. Well, never mind then. <laughs> Alright. Let's let our people in. The panel has a message which reads, Do not open. Exterior door without the express permission of a bro brother, brotherhood, mother, or father. Open the door and let your team in. Uh, objective, find the alley door and let them in. Alright, lead the way. Yep, I'm so splitty. Now let's go through this super secret door. The door's locked. Decking one, try hacking the door. Or or I can just use Father Willie's card. I think I'll just do that. Seems like the best thing to do. The secret door conceals a passage way deeper in the Universal Brotherhood complex. And once you go in there, there's no turning back and no way to collect your team later. Well, my team's with me, right? Dude... You guys are technically with me, right? Gain access to the inner sanctum. Do I want to use the secret door, or do I just want to go... around this way? Hmm. There are choices now, because... I don't know if going that way will... Through the secret door will get me let me figure out what happened to Shane. Uh, choices, choices. And I have no which one to use. You know what? Let's go this way. I'm just I'm just gonna take the route we should normally go. Da, 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 da. The facility's on lockdown. The remote scanner's cle cleared your badge, but who are these people? Oh. The facility is on lockdown. The remote scanner's cleared your badge, but who are these people? New members that Grandmother Jessica requested to see. He seems to... Oh, seems satisfied. I guess there is a person on the other end of it. Is it a robot? Is it not a robot? I see. Well, until you deliver them to Grandmother Jessica, you're responsible for them. Don't let them go wandering off. Um, don't worry. I totally won't. Eh, we'll just go this way. We're gonna go down. This door will take you to the intersection of the Brotherhood. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah I do have my team. Confirm. And beneath the Brotherhood, past the door is a short passage leading to a freight elevator. You hit the button, the down button, and the elevator rumbles its descent. Past, past where a basement would be, past where a parking garage would be, the doors open to a very different environment from the one you left. Gone is the airy, soothing atmosphere of the Brotherhood's public face. The corridor leading from the elevator is a utilitarian and sterile, sterile, sterile. The spa music replaced by echoing nothingness. Somewhere ahead, far below the Universal Brotherhood, is Sam's twin sister. Somewhere ahead, beneath the vene veneer of unity and belonging, is Sam's killer. The same woman, Jessica Watts. Continue! Exciting things are happening! Ooh, more karma. I'll, I'll keep taking... Oh. New objective. Oh, optional. Find out what happened to Cherry Bomb. Shane for Cherry Bomb. Find out many things. Gain access to the Sanctum. I'm dressed up like a regular guy again now. Let's check this out. Let's let's go around for a little bit. I'll look around for a little bit. I got no problem with that. Uh, this can't be good. Oh, according to the corpse ID's badge, we found Shane. Yeah, that's about what I figured. He's got some, like, oozy stuff coming out of his head. And we got a basic med kit. Let's see. And his arms trapped off, and that's... That's just not right. That's just not right. Data pad. Hi, Mom and Dad. I hope you guys are doing great, and you're having it, you're, and you aren't having any more problems with the neighborhood's dog. Sorry, it's been so long since I wrote, but since you, but once you reach my level, you need to reduce your exposure to the corrupting influences of our world, and that means all Matrix and Comlink access. I don't know when this will get to you. They say that that we will no longer need our data pads anymore when we get to the next level. 
I thought I would jot down, jot it down here and ask one of the higher level brothers or sisters to pass this along. Be sure to send them a thank you note when you get this. I don't know when I can visit you next. My time here is important, not just to me, but for the coming age of peace and prosperity the Brotherhood will bring for us all. Yours, Jenny. Okay, we got Crazy McCrazertons. And let's see, let's go through the door. Oh! We have a Brotherhood guard that looks like... Uh, <laughs> looks about as silly as we do, so... Can I go through this door? Or is he going to get mad at me? Don't get mad at me. Don't get angry. I'm just going to search through stuff. Advanced medkit. No, oh, so I have more than enough medkits now. Alright, guard. I'm just your friendly neighborhood shadow runner. Brotherhood guard. Sorry, this is as far as you go. Don't worry, all the Brotherhood's mysteries will be revealed in time. Now please just step away. <laughs> I've learned so much, I can't stop now. Stand aside, my friend, our light middleweights. <laughs> hey, I've not seen you in briefing sheets. <laughs> Wait, I believe. I've never seen any of you before. He reaches for his weapon. <laughs> I've learned so much. The dotting is on me. I must go through. Combat. Which, I don't think this combat's going to take that long. Um. Uh, just going to take you out. Oh, yeah, you're you're already dead. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I just love the battle music. You know what? I'm just gonna stand out in the open. Uh, all right. You are so bad at everything you do, Coyote. Like, really, really bad. Mm. This is probably the dumbest thing I'm gonna do. And I don't think I'm. You know what? You actually need this. You need accuracy because you are terrible at hitting anything with anything. It's only a 37% chance of hitting. Let's try to go right here. Mm, 41% chance. That's a 90. Yeah, might as well do that. Blinded. Oh, he lost his turn. Psh, hell yeah. Splitty McFarkles is on the job. Uh, I probably want to reload just because. Who knows? Oh, you can actually hit something now, Coyote? That's awesome! Do it again! I'm so proud of you. When you have a buff, you are not worthless. Hmm. Let's end. Splitty McFarkles will come over here to the door and open it up. Ooh, there's guns! All sorts of yummy things in here. Frag grenade. Eh, send it to my stash. And... Oh, another grenade. Yeah, send that to my stash. I can sell those. And... Is there no more guns? There was all the gun things going on. All right, everybody, line up. Here we go. Get ready to go in and take care of business. Now, does anybody need to reload, or is everybody everybody's good? So let's end the turn. Open the door. Oh, you're not supposed to be in here. Well, I can kind of tell that. Follower. You know what? Uh, okay, come on. Good job. It's 10 HP. Over one round. 80%, 85%, 90%. With two of them. I'll take that action. And 
once again. I'm going to buff her. Because she needs to be able to actually shoot something. Hey, get me out of here. Oh, there's someone... You know what? How dare you capture somebody? I wasn't disappointed in you. Now I am again. Alright, go right there. And... At 62%, I'm right next to him. Like, literally, right... Sadness. Why did he not do anything? Oh, because he's dazed or whatever. Oh, I don't have Bang! Uh, okay, I gotta get the key. I'm coming. Actually, tactically positioned. So if something tells me this is not. Nope, 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 not that button. I want to hit that to reload. Tactically positioned. Because something tells me this is not going to be the end of it, quite honestly. And I'll put you over here. And I'll put you right there. In the turn. Wait, 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 wait. Don't open up the door. I want to look up there. Never mind. The young elf woman is clearly shaken from being locked up and seeing her jailer killed in front of her eyes. The, these people are insane. I've been a prisoner all night. And I heard noises. She shudders. Relax. You're safe now. What's your name? She sighs, coming down off the adrenaline rush. Marie. Marie Louise. Listen, we've got to get out of here. The priests and acolytes have been going down that hole since they locked me up. They were chanting all the way, but then I heard screaming and something else, something foul. Don't worry, Marie, Marie Louise, we're going to get you out of here. Thank you. I just feel so betrayed. My aunt brought me here. She said the Brotherhood was just what I needed, that I could find a new family here like she did, that I could be a part of something bigger than myself. Then it got weird. You'd expect people like this to be nice to you, you know? That's what they're all about. But this was different. They started bowing to me, and that's when the chanting started. That's when I got really scared. Okay, time to go. Yeah. Oh, hello, Jessica. That you look different. Marie Louise, what do you think you're doing? What does it look like? No, you're needed here. There's a hungry glint in Jessica's eyes. I'll bet. I won't be your sacrificial lamb, Jessica. My darling girl, you don't understand. What we offer is eternal life. A chance to be a part of something new. Jessica suddenly notices you and her words fall, fail in her throat. You're... you're alive? <laughs> well, it isn't a turtle life, but it'll do. <laughs> you aim to put a man in the ground? Best see you do the job through. She composes herself. Sound advice. But I'm glad you're here. Truly I am. You've helped me more than you can know. Further open my already wide eyes. I thought I understood my feelings towards Sam. I thought I knew why I needed to put him and my old life behind me, but Sam represented so much more. This world is sick, you see. Humanity is sick. And perhaps better than anyone, Sam embodied that sickness. He cared nothing for others. He barely cared for himself. Self-destruction. It was Sam's path, and it is humanity's path. If we don't make a change, if we don't embrace a new way of thinking, we must put each other first, and this is the basis of my new family. Does your new family know how you treated your your old one? Sam and my mother were anchors, dragging me down with them into the gutter of human existence. But that part of my life ended at the burial. I am free now, free to be uplifted by my new family. There is a new world coming, Splitty McFarkles, and it's beautiful, ordered, safe, unambiguous. A world where everyone knows their place. Imagine it! A world without chaos, without selfishness, or any other human failings. No one could betray you or hurt you or... <laughs> Jessica, you're not well. You need help. Listen to yourself. You don't even sound human anymore. Soon, I won't be. I will be transcended, becoming part of something bigger than myself. She smiles a wicked smile. 
But first, I think it's time you meet my new fam. You met my new family. They're eager to make your acquaintance. Uh, what? Oh God, these things. These things are terrible. I do not like them. True form worker. The creature makes a mangled sound of chittering in human agony. Oh, holy crap! Don't be afraid, darling girl. No one will hurt you. You are our queen. She, lo she locked us in, but I can't get out of get us out of here. Last night they were holding me in the next room, the one with the computers. I jacked into one and was hacking their security system when I tripped the alarm and got caught. They threw me in a cell and called in a cell and disabled the jack ports points, but I can fix them. Just stay behind us. Look, I went into the best. I went to the best school in the country for matrix engineering. I know what I'm doing. They locked the nodes down where I, where they caught me, but I slipped in some code before they did. So it has to be me that jacks in. Just hold them off and let me fix it. What about intrusion countermeasures? I write IC as a hobby, okay? Just trust me. I can keep and keep that thing away from me. How entertaining. I'm glad you weren't killed at this ceremony, Splitty McParkles. It'll be much more fun to watch you die. Lady, you are bonkers in the brain -o. Okay. First things first. Uh, I'm going to... Hopefully have my other gun not reloaded. Amazing. And that was not what I wanted to do. Well, that's okay. At least I killed one. Alright, now my friends here are going to... Can I hit both of them? No. They are going to just kill these guys. No, that's not. That's another AoE. Do I have one that's not an AoE? Well, first things first. Let's throw... Aim on her. I can put aim on myself, so I'm not too worried. These things are nasty, those bug things. Uh, 95%. Ah, oh, they have so much health. Alright, come over here. I take out the think that's where that true form venom can't do anything. That'll be very helpful. Don't hit her. Nice. And oh, good, 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 good. All right, Coyote can take care of that guy. I need to put that on me so I can see better. And die, die, you nasty thing, die. And goodbye. How much? What's your 84%? Yep, yeah, I was gonna say I'll take it. <sighs> oh, good damn it! Urgh, awesome. You did good, buddy. You missed that though, but that—that's okay. That's okay. Oh, 50 damage. Love it. Love it. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. Forgot about that. Poop. Yeah, reload. Might as well have everybody reload. Because I can't do any damage to these things. Which sucks. So I'm just going to go ahead and move. Get people situated. And... This is not the ideal... Well... I can move them out if I have to. 
I want to get people over here so I can... Yeah, I'll move you right there. There! Now you see them in their truest form. You see they cannot die. Uh, Jessica, what in God, what in the hell are these things? They are the immortal soul made flesh. They are our destiny. Are you blind, woman? These things are giant bugs. Open your mind, Splitty McFarkle. They are so much more than you think. My mind was open to her when she called from beyond the veil, and she has rewarded my service and my faith with great power. This could have been yours as well, Marie Louise. You were to be a host to our qu for our queen, but no matter, there is another. Um... Okay, now we gotta take control of Marie Louise and get out of here. Uh, but first, I'm going to run away. Like a weenie. Weenie, run away! Ooh, what did these do? Oh, I don't have a data jack, so I can't do anything. I guess I could jack in too if I wanted to, kind of a thing. But I need her to... Oh, he's back. Alive. <laughs> This isn't good. Alright. Yeah, I see you. What spells do I have? I have 100 and damage. It's an AoE and a heal. Okay. And miss. Alright! Um, let's see if I can... How much I can hit with that AoE. 70% to hit three of them? Where is that 70% to hit three? I'll take it. I'll take that action any day of the week. And... She is really, really good. Ah, oh, nice miss. Okay, I'm going to do 100 damage to you in the back. And I missed. That's fine. Ow. Okay. He's back alive, and he's back alive. I actually don't want to waste a turn on my splitty McFarkles. So I have 55% chance. Ah, oh, oh, so close. 60 or 90. I need to get you. You need to die. Come on, coyote, don't let me down. Good girl. Yeah. And I'll move you out here. Oh yeah, you have the AoEs. Poop. You don't have the AoEs. You have the spell I want. Didn't miss. I'll take that action any day of the week. Yeah, you're gonna throw junk and do damage and... Ninety-seven percent chance. Hit him. Good job. Good job. What was that? Ugh, that was sounded like a dude. There's no dudes around here. Should probably heal myself, actually. All right. Okay. Oh, there's four enemies? What? Oh. Well. Might as well take this time.
time to reload. Coyote, reload. Reload. Blade hits. Nice, nice. And a 72% chance. Good job. I'll take that action any day of the week. And can I get both of them? Both of them? Come on. Forget it. Forget it then. We shall go with one of you, and you will take a lot of damage. Possibly die. Don't hit. Ah, I was right in front of you and you missed. Neener, neener, neener. Take my electric bolts of light. You are dead. And. I think I actually wait till next turn. No. Yeah. Dang. So close. All right, um... Uh, yeah, yeah, I want her to be able to hit that guy better, so... 55% chance, I miss. Still not bad. Okay, Coyote. Don't let me down. One more good hit, and you got him. Take him out! So close. So, so close. Um. I'd rather do the 90%. Because I know he's dead. And then. You. Sixty percent. Good, keeping them dead. That's what I want to do. Because even if they hit me, it's only one damage and one AP for two turns, which is not that big of a deal. Baron Samdi. Marie Louise, I found you. Why does that guy sound like he's dying? Harkeem, Harkeem, is that you? Call me Samdi, please. We are in a, an unsecured node. Hang on. I'm running a decoy operation with a mirror with a mirrors at utility to mask you so the rest of the Brotherhood's grid doesn't swarm you with ice. How'd you find me? You leave a very distinctive trail, ML. You need to work on that. Now, what in the hell is going on here? There's no time. The next level in the, the Universal Brotherhood is always talking about. I think they transform into bugs. I had heard some rumors in Sh on Shadowland, but this is worse than I thought. I warned you about these people. We've got to get you out of here. Way ahead of you. This node controls the doors. We're free. Now we just need to get out of here. I'll see you soon, I hope. Tell the leader of the Renner team with you to contact Baron Samdi and the Matrix as soon as they can. So, so, Oh, as soon as they can gain access. Tell them I will be looking for them. Uh, okay. See ya. <laughs> see ya. And hopefully I don't get jumped on the way out. Oh, I'm right there. Okay. Let's get out of here. And where's the door? It's over there. Great. Okay, first things first, let's see how far we can get. Marie Louise. Hopefully we can get her out of here. Alright, now let's all just kind of swarm around her. I've got a, I've got a lot of med kits and stuff, so. But now we just need to get out of here. Oh, and you only have one, uh, one turn to move. Eh. Come on, let's go! Alright. Put up the 
door. Can you actually get out? Yes, you can. Okay, once she gets out, we're good. Okay. Then everything else is smooth sailing from here. Splitting with Farkles is leaving the building. Coyote is leaving the building. I'm just mage two. I don't remember their names. Oh. And yeah, you're gonna ha. Ah, see you later, bug guys. Marie Louise is putting on a tough face, but you can see she's spooked. Thanks for the rescue. I'm getting the hell out of here. Just a minute. Who are you? Where are you going? She's glassy-eyed, maybe in shock. I, I just gotta get out of here. Don't worry about me. I'll, I'll see you around. Hey, hey hello. Um. The image, the image that suddenly lights up your comlink is clearly non-standard transmission. Whoever it is, they're using the matrix to tight beam their their avatar's face instead of their own. You can tell that the voice has been modulated to disguise it. Bonsoir, mon ami. You must be careful with these devices. They can be hacked if you're not careful. Who are you, and how'd you get this comlink code? Forgive me, I am Baron Samedi. Perhaps you have heard of Samedi? He is a decker of unique gifts. Some have gone as far as to call him a technomancer. We, too, have a common knowledge now, and we share a common purpose. I'm listening. The girl, she's important to, to Samedi. She is grateful for your timely assistance to her, and she finds... Oh, he is grateful for your timely assistance to her, and he finds himself in a position to return the favor. Samdi knows the one you are after. He knows, and he can help you get to her. But this comlink is not a secure connection, is it? No, we must meet face to face, so to speak, in cyberspace. Uh, why should I trust you? You wound me, but let us speak more freely in the Matrix, and then you may decide whether to trust Samdi. Suddenly, the Baron's flowery speech is gone, and he's all business. Get to a secure jack point, enter the Shadowlands, and I'll meet you there. Bon voyage. The Baron's grin and his image flickers away. Uh, Alright, guys. Well, well, I was going to end it there, but we're probably just going to go back to the Seamstresses Union anyway. You're about to transition to a new location. Continue. Confirm. The Union. Getting justice for Sam was going to take more effort than it originally appeared. You didn't anticipate his killer being protected by a cult filled with giant unkillable bugs, but she is, and if you're going to get going to get to her, you're going to need to find a way around or through those bugs. After a taste of the belonging that the Universal Brotherhood offered, the sordid surroundings of the Seamstresses Union feel more like home than ever. Loading slowly. There we go. Game auto saved. It saved auto. -link. Well, okay. <laughs> Optional tail cherry bomb about Shane. Objective: find Johnny in the safe house, which we will do next time, guys. We will keep going, and we will get justice, and we will figure out the bugs and everything. It's Starship Troopers now. Ah! <laughs> Until then, guys. You have a good one, and take care.